Okay, let's try this again. Um, I guess this still is technically the first attempt. I tried a minute ago and it didn't work and discovered that I had not, in fact, put all the chips in. Um, so we'll see if it works this time. So to recap, it's the 12th of April 2004 and we're getting ready to try the, uh, to bring this machine up for the very first time with all the parts in place and I hope I haven't forgotten it this time. So we're going to run a Fibonacci, try to run a Fibonacci uh, function, uh, compute Fibonacci of 10 and let's orient with the machine a bit here. Um, I've got it powered on but I've got the clock stopped so it isn't running right now. And then I have a clock select here where I can select between a fast, normal uh, clock. These are done right now by 4 and 1 megahertz oscillators. A variable clock, which is a little uh, 555 based clock. And then a single step clock. We're going to start using that. And here's the single stepper for the clock. And this LED shows the uh, state of the clock. Um, the interesting displays, this display here, uh, the four digits, is the register display. Uh, when the clock is stopped, we can turn this dial here and show the values of just about all the registers that we have. It, it actually works too when it's running, but it's, uh, it doesn't always have the most recent value when the machine is running. But when the clock is stopped, yeah, the values are correct. These two digits here are going to show the contents of the instruction registers, the current instruction being executed. And then the display in the top here, on this daughter card, this is the address of the next micro instruction to be executed. So the Fibonacci function, Fibonacci program here, it's going to start off by setting up the stack. So it's going to load a hex 7000 into register A, then copy that into the stack pointer, and then do a procedure call to main, call main. And main will set up a frame, uh, load 10 into a parameter register, and put it into the frame of the stack. And then it will call a Fibonacci function, which should recursively compute uh, Fibonacci 10, which, uh, if everything is right, is going to end up with uh, 37 hex or decimal 55. Okay, so let's go ahead and try it for real. So we go from stop to run, and now the single step clock, I'm going to have to click it a few times here uh, to get it to start going, and this time we should go high on the clock, we do. So this is the fetch phase. We're going to fetch the instruction about now. Okay, 7C, which is good. That's the opcode for load 16. And we've, we've incremented the uh, memory address register to 1, which is also very good. Uh, and now we're going to um, go down to the next micro instruction at 67 which is going to, which I hope is going to load the high order byte of the uh, hex 7000 into the memory, memory data register. And uh, here we show, this is the data bus display, and that looks good, that's a 70, so 70 hex is the most significant byte. So let's step past that, and now we should pick up the low byte at 68, and now we're back to fetch again. So I'm going to set the clock to stop, um, to enable this display and let's cross our fingers and switch over to register A, DP, SP, and A, which says 8080, which is not what I wanted to see. Um, and there's 8000B. Okay, so that didn't exactly work like I'd hoped. But let's go ahead and step anyway, just on the odd chance that my display is not working right. So we'll go back to run, step through, CB is um, copy SP to A. Actually, I should check again. Uh, and then 580, let me go ahead and check again. So I'll go back to stop, and let's look at register A. So I'm going to turn this over to the DP, SP, and A. Well, it's interesting, A is zero now, so something is happening, but not the right thing. Well, let's just uh, go ahead and see what happens when we try to attempt the procedure call, which is a little bit more complex, so we're going to get the secret microcode. That doesn't look good. And we're stepping. We should be picking up the displacement to add to the branch. And... 
would go to address 7, and so now it failed. We've fallen through the procedure call and we should have branched, and so now we've, uh, we've reached the halt state. Okay, so um, didn't work. We'll do some debugging and try again.